content marketing has a role to play in every subsect of marketing and there isn't a single client or a single type of vertical that can't actually profit from utilising content marketing as part of your mix. Almost all the major brands in all the industries are using content marketing in some way. There's no such thing as content marketing. Now, now, before I get ushered off the stage, let me be precise, what I mean is that there's no such thing as non-content marketing. It's really important that the story you tell is told consistently across your channels. Always think about what your channel is and make sure that you're writing appropriately for that. Actively seek out your weaknesses and share them openly. In other words, insane honesty is putting your worst foot forward. And it's a weird idea. A thought leader is someone who looks at the present and sets a better course for the future that compels others to follow. Every single month there's 14.9 billion beauty related views on YouTube. So when you look at these 15 billion, just under 15 billion video views on beauty content, 3% are created by brands. So at the very least it's important to understand that. We firmly believe that brilliant advertising is only possible if you have an equal balance of art and science. We believe the secret really is strong content driven experiences plus distribution. So creating content that's meaningful, uh, it's not just focused on what an advertiser wants to say, it's focused on what the consumer will find interesting um, and, uh, and from there you get the distribution, from there you get the sharing. The real magic is in driving fans, fan bases, people who want to come back week after week to find out what new content you've made, who want to engage with you beyond just watching who actually want to participate with you. And I think that's what the creators like Zoella, the other bloggers, and many of the most successful channels on YouTube have managed to harness. Well, I think the biggest thing is there's a real awareness about, it's not creating content for content's sake, given all the bad content that's out there. It's about understanding customers and consumers and what their passion points are. The advert that you serve in front of your YouTube video, um, people have the ability to skip that out in five seconds if it's a true video advert, you hold them prisoner to that 30 seconds then the audience will kick back and they will go and watch something else. You have to start with the story, it has to be, it has to have a great narrative arc, it has to be of a certain production value for the audience to invest in it and once the audience invests in it, um, that client, the client that's underwritten it, that, that sponsored it, you get a lot out of that uh, at the back end if you like. If you really know your product, uh, you will find that uh, you can deliver the same message in the same way, in the same sort of channels, with the same strategy, uh, in all kinds of markets. Every time I came out of a session, I would hear people saying, oh, I've got to look at that website, or I've got to look more at that channel. So I think the whole thing is a massive education for all of us.